The good thing about both of these grinders is that they're both espresso capable. Alrighty, today I would like to compare these two grinders, the Barazza Encore ESP and the Fellow Opus. So these are two grinders that are in direct mm, competition with one another. They're right around the same price point. They are also very similar in size and in weight. The burrs are very similar in design and the burrs are 40 millimeters in both of these. So these are both light, handy grinders that can be used for espresso on the one end and for pour over and other brew methods on the other end of the scale. Yeah, they're both capable. I've been using both of these the last several weeks and getting good results from them. But from an ergonomic standpoint, I would say these two machines, they differ quite a bit. What are the commonalities? Well, build wise, they both have stainless steel 40 millimeter burrs. They're both made completely out of plastic. So they have those things in common. They both have a relatively small motor. This is 70 watts. I did not find a rating for this one. This one turns at 350 RPMs and this one turns at 550 RPMs. And this one is super slow in grinding. When I'm grinding for espresso with this grinder, it takes me 25 seconds for a 16 gram dose. That's like 0.6 grams per second. This one takes me 10 seconds for a 16 gram dose. It's two and a half times faster. So I do like that. This one also has a nice pulse function so that you can just pulse it right into there. You can just hold it down for 10 seconds or you can just turn it here on the side. That is a nice convenient feature. From an ergonomic standpoint, I think that the Barazza ESP is a little bit easier to use, but this is also kind of delightful to use. So on this one, what's really neat is that you've got a magnetic catch cup. The catch cup just kind of shoots right in there and that is really neat. I like that. And another point is that this one includes a deionizer. So when the grinds are coming out, they're getting the static removed from them and that's awesome. They just pour right out up here into your porta filter and they're clump free. So static free, clump free, awesome. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. They're, they also have different use cases. I would say that this one, the Fellow Opus, is much more aimed at people who want to do single dosing. And this one is aimed at people probably who want to fill up the hopper up to 300 grams of coffee beans and just put their porta filter underneath here and fill the porta filter. That works pretty easy and that's enjoyable about this one. This one, however, is really designed to be used with this catch cup. Therefore, um, in my opinion, this one has really been designed for single dosing. Measure out your beans here first, drop them in here and start your grind. And what's kind of cool about this one is that it's got a, like a bellows on top. If you use this, this cover here on the top as a bellows, then you can get the last bit out. This does have retention of about one and a half grams. I have not tested this one, but I'm guessing it's probably similar. Most grinders do get one or two grams just kind of caught up in the chute, caught up in the chamber. Let's see how loud they both are. Okay, so first the ESP. And now the fellow Opus. They're similar in loudness in my opinion. This one is a slightly different pitch. So they sound different, but this one only needs to run 10 seconds and this one needs to run 25 seconds. So keep that into consideration as well. The good thing about both of these grinders is that they're both espresso capable. So it's a good time to get into the hobby of making espresso because it wasn't too long ago and you didn't have such nice options on the market for that price point to be able to get into espresso. So I think if you're looking to buy an espresso grinder, then you have to kind of just make your choice based on aesthetics. Which one do you think looks nicer in your use case? How are the ergonomics on each one for you? Are you delighted by the deionizer and the magnetic catch cup? And don't mind that it takes longer? Or do you like this one that's just totally simple to use and is faster? Because they both deliver a pretty good result, although I do have to give the grind quality to the fellow Opus due to the fact that it's clump-free, static-free, 
I have gotten more refined shots from this one, slightly better balanced, less astringency. So this one is nice. They both give good body, but um, yeah, I would have to give the Opus a point for taste. However, I would have to give this one the upper edge for ergonomics. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, give it a like, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. <laughs>